Grammy Award for Best Artist of the Year. It means so much to me. But there is no way I'd be able to do it all by myself. I have so many people to thank, so many adults to thank, and hopefully I can name them all in this short time frame. First off, I want to start with my parents, my mom. Thank you, Mom, for so much for always giving me the pep talks in life, whether I needed them or wanted them, or I didn't want them, I was just having a really bad day. So thank you for that. Thank you also for always being there for me, like when I forgot my note cards for my speech. Thank you for being at the ready and giving them, driving all the way here to give them to me. I also want to thank you for always making me practice, whether that's piano, violin, or in band. You always made me practice, even though I would refuse to, you always said, just go practice. So because of you, I stuck it, stuck it out. Next is my dad. Thank you, dad, for always making me laugh and giving me some personality. Uh, whether I was really stressed about something or really nervous, you would show me, show me a different side to look at it. Or we take like a five minute break and do a stupid game, whether that's betting on a sports team, trying to put a coin in a cup, and it's a weird game, or having our rock, paper, scissors tournament. Thank you for always never failing to make me laugh. I really appreciate that. Next, I want to thank my grandparents. You guys were always there for almost every single one of my recitals or my concerts. And afterwards, you would come and find me and tell me how proud you were that I was able to do the piano and play this and play that. I mean, how you were just so impressed. But my favorite memory was when it was over with, and then we went out to go eat ice cream most of the time. That was always my favorite part of any of my recitals or concerts. Next, I want to thank all my music teachers, or at least most of them. First off, I want to thank my first ever piano teacher, Miss Carlin. She intimidated me just a little bit. That's because when I came to her in kindergarten, I couldn't read music or actual words. And she taught me how to play the piano and actually have it sound decent. I was really surprised that I was able to do that because I didn't know anything about anything. So thank you for taking me under your wing, I guess, and teaching me. Next, I want to thank my second piano teacher, Sarah Doring. So fun fact, I would have lessons every week and for the about every three weeks, I would try really hard. For the third week, I'd put all my effort in and I'd be really good. The first two weeks, I wouldn't try. So every third week, you'd be real, she'd be really impressed. I'd say, you're doing such a great job. Great job, Lydia. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. I can always play this. I just don't try. I didn't say that, but I definitely thought that. So thank you for encouraging me and boosting my confidence just a little bit. And I want to thank my violin teacher, Mrs. Coles. I've known her since second grade, and I know I have not been the most willing student to play or participate but I think I got the job done good enough. For violin, we have this thing called festival. So I have to memorize two songs, play them on the violin with my teacher who's playing the piano and be judged on a scale of one to five. One being, you're horrible, please never play again. To a five being, you're amazing, go on national television, go worldwide, you're so good. I got a lot of fives because of Mrs. Cole and because she always pushed me to be better and do better. So thank you for that. Next, I want to thank my band teachers. So, Mr. Taylor. I've known him since seventh grade. I had him in seventh grade. And every day in band class, I would ask him, can I switch from flute? I'd beg him, every day. I don't want to do flute. Can I switch? Can I switch? And every day, he would say no. But how do you, my thought process was, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So I thought every day I'd wear him down. And finally, he'd say yes. He never did. But one of my earlier memories of him was a joke. And I'll, I'll share that joke at least the best I can with you today. The joke was something about, how do you see an elephant in a tree? The punchline is, you don't. They're so good at hiding. Well, that wasn't the actual punchline. I don't remember the literal one. But I never got that until this summer. So three and a half years, I couldn't figure out a joke. But I finally did. So thank you, Mr. Taylor, for your humor. Next, I want to thank Mr. Caesar. I've known him for the past three years because he was my band teacher. And I learned, a, I learned a lot about life and a lot about music from him. I learned how the phrase, fake it till you make it, is a legit thing in band and in music. He also let me switch from flute to saxophone 
So I was really grateful that he let me do that. And my next and my final person I want to thank today is my newest teacher, Miss Benoit. I haven't known her for very long. Known her this summer, didn't talk to her a whole lot, and then this year in school. Thankfully, she's always been really nice and really understanding. She would always, so the day after our concert, she wouldn't have us play new music like Caesar would. She would say, it's okay, time to take a break. And I really appreciate that about her. So thank you. I'll thank you for all my teachers teaching me how to play music and getting me this far. And thank you for listening to my speech. <laughs>